Good morning everyone, it's Mrs. Cardos and today I'm gonna to review with you how to calculate the tip. Um, another fancy word for that would be the gratuity, gratuity. So we're gonna calculate the tip or the gratuity. Now we watched a video in class the other day about all the different places where you would leave a tip or a gratuity, but the most common place is a meal. So that's what we're gonna deal with today. So if you don't have any pencil and paper, pause the video, go grab some, grab your notes, whatever you need, and a calculator possibly, and then come on back and start the video again. And if at any point throughout the video you need to pause it, feel free to do that. So our lesson target is that you will be able to compute the tip or the gratuity as well as the total cost of a meal. And we're gonna do that by doing one demonstration problem today, but I am gonna show you two different ways to do it. So this particular problem that we're working on today says Rose took her family out to dinner. The price of the meal was $42.50. Rose would like to leave a 20% tip. And part A says how much is the tip? And part B says what is the price of the meal with the tip? Now I'm gonna kind of get rid of the picture there so that we can focus in on the math. So whenever we're dealing with a percent, we can always use a proportion to help us solve the problem. So that is method number one that I'm going to show you today. So I'm gonna set up my proportion, and since it is a percent problem, I'm gonna use the words part to whole as my labels. And I'm gonna set up two ratios. Now, the tip she must have gotten some good service because she wants to leave a 20% tip. So the percent, remember, always goes over 100. And then the tip is the part of the meal. We're gonna take part of the price of the meal and we're gonna leave it extra as the tip. And the whole price of the meal before tax is $42.50. Now, once you have the proportion set up, the rest of it is just calculator work from here. So remember the two steps, you're gonna cross multiply and then you're gonna divide, okay? So I'm gonna cross multiply 100 times T would just be 100 T. 20 times 42.50 would be 850. And then when I divide 850 by the 100, the amount of the tip would be $8.50. So a pretty decent tip. So that would be the answer to part A. How much is the tip? It's $8.50. Now for part B, we're gonna figure the total cost. To find out what the total cost of the meal is with the tip, we're gonna have to add the tip to the before price. So $42.50 plus the $8.50 we're gonna have for the tip. Now remember, whenever you're adding decimals, you're gonna line them up like little buttons on a shirt. And if we go from the right to the left, we will see that Rose is going to need to leave a total of $51 if she wants to have the price of the meal and the tip. So that's the first way. That's the way of using a proportion to calculate the gratuity. Now, I'm gonna show you the second way, which would be to use an equation. So whenever we use the equation, we're gonna do part is equal to the percent times the whole. So we still have the same labels. The part in this instance that we're looking for is the tip and where our percent is 20%. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that over 100. And the whole price of the meal was $42.50. Now, before I do it, I like to change the 20 over 100 to a decimal. So I just use my calculator and I divide 20 divided by 100. Now, some of you can do that math in your head, which is perfectly acceptable. But if I divide 20 by 100, I get 0 0.2, because remember the calculator is gonna take off that extra zero there on the end. And now I can just use my calculator and multiply it by the 4250. And I will find out that I get the exact same answer that I got before, which is $8.50, which is going to be the answer to part A, 
how much is the tip? And then part B would just be the exact same thing. I would take that $8.50 and add it back to the original price of the meal. So there you have it, two different ways of solving a um, tip or gratuity problem. I can use a proportion or I can take my percent and change it to a decimal and multiply it, which is by through using an equation. So we were able to compute the tip or the gratuity as well as the total cost of the meal. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in class. Bye.